Hey, Yetifigid here for some more dual hearts. Um, in the last part, we arrived here and stuff. Now, my, um, like, dream ring count and stuff might be a little different this time around because I forgot to save after my last recording session and I had to do a bunch of stuff over again. So, yeah. Anyway, I just want to sh before we go to Toma's dream, I just want to show th these guys off. This is, uh, this guy's dream is sick. No kids allowed. And over here, the this guy's dream is awful. You wouldn't want to go in there. I always found that funny. But he must be having a nightmare. If you're worried about him, we can go into his dream. I guess. Let's take a quick look. It will be quick. This dream is short. I think it's optional, but not entirely positive. May or may not be optional. Is this the deepest part of the ruins? Is that Toma? Looks like there ain't nothing here, Toma. That's Toma? But he's buff and not fat. And his hair's different. And Oh my god, it's raining statues. It's raining cyclopses. But Marco, are you okay? Y yeah. I think so. Statue night. This is, we're we're gonna have a boss. Hmph. I didn't expect the treasures would be easy to get anyway. This is actually take two of this. Marco, leave this one to me. face. M Marco? Marco! Ah! What's going on? Rumble, hurry, help him. You want the change to the Ragna Blade. And knocked him out of the way with the charge attack. It's that easy. You saved our lives. Thanks. Unfortunately, that's not the end of the boss fight. Heh. <laughs> Piece of cake. Leave the rest to us. What? Speak for yourself. Uh, uh, okay. Then we'll let you two take care of it. The Statue Knight's weakness is his eye. When you attack his eye while it is lit, you can petrify him. Then, you can, if you use the right type of attack, you can shatter his body. Lift the red core that remains and throw it into the surrounding holy water. Good luck. Huh? Hey, wait! Hey! Alright. So what you want here is the arbalest, which works like a bow. It's another. It's our newest weapon. It's the first new weapon we got since we got the first two holy instruments, the longness and the ragnum blade. And then I'd recommend the remote bomb. I think there's another way to do this, but I don't remember. Whatever. I just petrify him with the attack from the arbalest and then remote bomb him to shatter his body. That's how I do this fight, anyway. I think the Ragna Blade's charge attack can also shatter him, but I'm not sure. I think it's the Ragna Blade. 
There's another thing way you can shatter him that's more recommended, but this is the way I have always done it, so. Alright, come on. His eye will usually lit up right after he attacks you. This attack, he'll jump off, he'll attach his sword to the wall, jump off it, and try to fall on you. Avoid him, but this, but using this attack will shatter his body. So, yeah. Sucks for him, especially since we can heal. And I should look for Essamons. I love how the arrows curve in this game. I kind of like this boss fight, but fight it's not as long. Believe me, the next boss we're going to fight, I'm probably going to have to cut out most of that fight because it's so long. Probably. There we go. He hit attacks. I remote bomb his ass. And then I heal myself when I take damage. Yeah, this fight shouldn't be too tough. It's... What'd I get? Why am I glowing? I wasn't paying attention. Ha ha ha. The evil guy who killed Marco is weak to water. Come on. Good boy. Now be exploded. Yeah. Alright, he's almost dead. He's got a bit of life left in him, but... He's almost dead. One more time after this should be enough to kill him. He's fi he fired his laser. Forgot he could do that. But... Here it is. End of boss fight. That was a bit, um, easy. A lot easy. Whoa, check him out. He beat the statue knight. Hey, Marco. Marco? So in reality, Marco was killed by nothing. Everyone is killed by nothing in the end. What? Angels with trumpets. It's time for me to go, Toma. I see. Give me a second. You guys can read that yourself. I'm going to check who's calling and see if I care. No, I don't. It's not your fault. It was just fate. But 
but you know, it was lots of fun. We got to see so many places. I never got tired of going on your crazy adventures. Marco! I could always count on you, Toma. Or Tama, or however you feel like pronouncing it. Marco! He's holding his hand up for a last high five he will never get. Because Marco realized he's actually a complete douche. The water did some major damage. Uh, alright, I'm gonna end this part.